Hey guys, I am Game Advisor, and welcome back to another Icarus mission video. Today we're going to be talking about one of the semi-new missions called Nightfall Survey. Now, I will mention before we get started that in order to do this mission, you're actually going to have to have a lot of missions previously done on Olympus. It's all the way at the end of the tree, so you'll need to get all the way down there to do it. Now before you start, I would recommend that you bring gear to build up to guns. So this is your grinding, your farming gear, whatever helps you to gather quickly. Once you do drop in, go ahead and locate the survey unit. This will be located here, it's very easy to get to. Once you do get there, some objectives will appear to kill an alpha wolf, a sandworm, a scorpion, and retrieve some other various materials in order to power that unit on. Next, we would recommend that you go ahead and just grind all the way up to hunting rifles, and maybe get some good food buffs while you're at it, like fish stew, which can be really good at giving you extra HP, or beer and wine, as you will need the stamina to run around the map significantly faster. You do not have to grind these food buffs, they're totally optional, but at the end of the day, I definitely recommend at least the stamina ones, since they're pretty easy to craft since you're already gonna be crafting up to guns, as it will get you around the map much, much faster. Now you can do all of these objectives in any order you want, but personally I'd recommend you follow the following order. First, go to the Alpha Wolf here in N14. The Alpha Wolf is very easy to kill, he doesn't have a lot of HP, you can either Zerg him before he gets in a cave, but if he does get in the cave, he might spawn some ads, such as maybe a polar bear or something, but for the most part, it's just kill him before he goes in and hides in the cave. If you have a hunting rifle, all this takes is like three to four headshots and he's instantly dead. It's super, super easy it's not a hard fight at all. It's the easiest part of this whole mission. Next, go ahead and run over to C11 in order to defeat the Scorpion boss. Just make sure to dodge his charge and have plenty of move speed to outrun his attacks. Maybe bring some flame arrows as well, or some poison arrows for when he goes into his armor phase, but at the end of the day, again, this is totally up to you and what you feel is necessary. After that, go ahead and head over to F2 to grab the battery from the crashed pod. This is one of the items you're going to need to power that survey unit we talked about earlier, but all you really need to do is simply just interact with it and grab the item. Next, I would suggest you go to the sandworm boss and K3. Just make sure to avoid his smashes and his poison attacks, as once again he's not that challenging, but just keep in mind when he opens his mouth he'll take critical damage, so if you're trying to ramp up the damage quickly, this is one of the easiest ways to do it. The last objective you should go to is going to be the crystals in I-8. They are in a small little snow pit, so if you can't find them, just know they're down in that little pit. The reason we recommend you go to these last is simply because they decay over time. However, you can get as many stacks of them as you want, so if you have the inventory space, just pick up as many stacks as you can, and as some of them get low, stack them together to give you more time to get back. Otherwise, you simply need to run back to the survey unit with these crystals, place the battery and the crystals inside of it, and then simply watch the unit power on. Once it's activated and powered on, you should be done with the mission at this point, and it should say mission complete for you. I will say that this mission was actually pretty enjoyable for us. It's a cool kind of wrap up of the entire map and all the different things we've been doing on it, so I really liked it as a final mission personally. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm Game Advisor. For more Icarus and other survival game videos, consider subscribing to our channel. We make new videos all the time, but again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.